The last thing that you guys need is another social media influencer coming at you going, hey, keep grinding, keep hustling, you know, keep putting in the work. What does that mean? that it doesn't matter your IQ, it doesn't matter where you went to school, if you went to school, it doesn't matter what your background is, what, you know, what, your, currently, what your current occupation is, that hard work trumps everything. Some encouragement to the viewers or listeners that are you know, maybe in a struggle or in some form of pain right now is that if I got myself into it, I could certainly get myself out of it. Uh, but the only way I was gonna be able to do that was through massive amounts of work. And I kind of, you know, jokingly love to start my keynotes by telling everybody I'm extraordinary. Everybody kind of laughs and I say, but you know, the reality is I'm an ordinary person doing extraordinary things by my willingness to put in the extra. And that extra is just work. Uh, and I talk about this all the time, about this word extraordinary. And that if you want to live an extraordinary life, the only way to do that is by doing extraordinary things. It doesn't just happen by chance. It doesn't happen by luck. There is no such thing as luck. Um, you create your own luck uh, by putting yourself in a position um, to reap the rewards and reap the benefits of what you have sown. But when you look at like what I'm doing this week, so the goal is to do 100 life insurance policies this week. I'm at 86 right now and I'll hit 100 tomorrow. And that's the goal. Um, that would be something that I would look at as extraordinary. Uh, but the interesting thing, and I've talked about this before, but I just I love talking about the fact that the word extraordinary, if you break it down, you've got extra, and then you've got ordinary. And it's doing the ordinary things, which what, what does ordinary mean? It's just simple, easy, well not easy, but simple, um, regular. So it's doing the simple, regular things but the extra means you're just doing more of it. You're just doing a ton of it. You're doing more than anybody else. It's doing extra ordinary things. So where the average person that is settled will just do ordinary things, you can do extra ordinary things. It's still the same things, you're just doing more of it. And so that's the way I look at my life. Like, I wanna be extraordinary. And the encouraging thing about it is that I can just be an ordinary person that just does more than everybody else. And then I can achieve that. I can, ex if I want to have extraordinary things, if you want to have extraordinary things, if you want to live an extraordinary life, then you don't have to have any like incredible skills, abilities. You just have to be willing to do an extraordinary amount of work. You have to be willing to do extraordinary things to get it. And I think by documenting what I'm doing, kind of do what I do, not what I say, it shows you. Like, you guys saw when I got here on Facebook Live after my first meeting at 7 a.m., and you guys are seeing me now sitting in my car in my hotel parking lot at 11.51 p.m. But guess what? You saw me do it yesterday. Guess what? You saw me do it Tuesday. Guess what? You saw me do it Monday. You know how many hours that I've put in and work this week so far? I have no idea. I, I literally have no idea. Today's day four, it's probably something like 75 hours so far this week but in everything that you do and throughout your day hundreds of times throughout your day if you just asked yourself what would the extraordinary version of me do in this situation and you can ask yourself this hundreds of times a day if you really if you really thought about it like, like when your alarm clock goes off in the morning you could ask yourself what would the extraordinary version of me do right now? Would the extraordinary version of me hit snooze and, and keep sleeping? Or would the extraordinary version of me wake up and, and hit the ground running? When you hit that lull in, in your day and, and you're just losing focus or maybe losing motivation to get anything else done, what would the extraordinary version of me do right now? They probably do what, what you're supposed to do, what you know you're supposed to do. And so I think if we can kind of view our world through that lens, if you can view your world through the lens of what would the extraordinary version of yourself do, um, then that's gonna be a big help.